Hey, what is going on everyone? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to create this video to share with you my insights on several undervalued stocks that I feel can add so much value to your investment portfolio. But before I begin, I'd like to inform you that all of the information I'll be sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. And anytime when you do consider making an investment, please make sure to always do your research and take my information as guidance information only. Now, let's say if you haven't already done so, you're new to this channel, all I see is W where we gain on positive proceeds and lead with an altruistic mindset, please make sure to sub to my channel and like this content as well. Now, let's say if you're new to investing where you don't have a trading app, I've left links down below where you can use Webull, where you can gain on two free stocks by signing up. Let's take a look at the link that I'll be sharing with you. Let's say if you wanna check out my online merchandise branding, all I see is W. I'll leave the links down below as well where you can purchase similar things like a coffee cup, all I see is W hat, as well as others. Let's say if you want to try natural supplements for focus on performance and better sleep, I've also left links down below where you can leverage coupons to access getting quality of products for cheaper. Now, let's get started. Now the first ticker I wanted to share with you is a company that's based out in Massachusetts and that's Agenus by the ticker A-G-E-N. Now what does Agenus do, right? Now they are a biotechnology company that develops immuno-oncology products. I'll go ahead and I'll share with you all of the different products that they're working on. Now in terms of its preclinical and clinical pipeline, it has a number of products that they're working on at this time, as you can see here, AGEN 2373. There's several products that they're working on specific to like cancer, as well as even COVID-19. Let's take a look at its pipeline. So as you can see here, we were looking at the pipeline of Agenus products. It has a number of products that are not only in phase two clinical trials, but in phase one, as you can see, it has the PD-1, CTLA-4, CTLA-4, TGIT, tumor-associated macrophage, cytokine, CD-137, regulatory T-cell, working with Gilead, GTIR, OX-40, in phase two, GTIR in phase two, and also ILT-4, and as you can see in the cancer realm for INK cell therapy, we have cancer specific drug products as well as COVID-19 product called the AGNT-797 that's currently in phase one clinical trials. It also has various vaccines that they're working on. So as you can see, this company is working on a wide number of different products. And in fact, it has shingles product that's already approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration with partnership with GSK. I, in fact, got my flu vaccine last year manufactured by GSK. So that just tells you a genus is part of the large-scale companies. It's a high-quality company knowing that it's from Massachusetts. And based on its current share price at $2.83, I firmly believe that it can definitely ramp up to like $5 in share price. So let's not lose sight of what a genus can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to pivot over to is Riot Blockchain by the ticker R-I-O-T. Now, as you can see here, we're looking at the company website and I'm just showing with you the management team. In fact, Jason Les is the chief executive officer here. In fact, he was part of several human benchmark testing. In fact, he was involved with testing with the world's best poker artificial intelligence in what was dubbed man versus machine at Carnegie Mellon University back in 2015 and 2017. And he actually holds a bachelor's in computer science from UC Irvine, which is the school that I actually came from. So that's exciting news. And knowing that this company is part of the whole blockchain digital currency development focused on mining for Bitcoin, that just tells you that while Bitcoin is going to rise all the way up to like 100,000 per coin, Riot blockchain will also rise as well. The fact that the share price dropped today by like 8 to 10%, I feel like it's definitely 
a value add play where you can buy on the dip and just hold long term because Bitcoin is disrupting the future of how we look at currencies and payment systems, right? And just looking at the company website here, we know that it's focused on just decentralizing the market for the traditional way of uh, doing business. And Bitcoin mining is part of the, the game of looking at an alternative method for currency. And the fact that we know Tesla now accepts Bitcoin, that just tells you that Riot blockchain will increase in future valuation. And that's my takeaway with Riot blockchain. So let's not lose sight of what this ticker can do it for you. Currently dropping at like 10%, you can get it at the discount and hold it long term because this can definitely go up beyond the $100 share price sometime in Q2 of this year. Now, next ticker I wanted to share with you is Zomedica, a company that is based out in Michigan where it's working on a diagnostic product intended to be used on dogs and cats to test for thyroid problems. Now, this will definitely advance animal health and veterinarian success in terms of diagnosing animals the right way. And with its product, True Forma, that will be commercializing very soon within weeks that just tells you that the share price will likely catapult up although we've seen a downward pull from like 250 now to like 170 that just tells you that there's going to be room for growth what goes down must come up and it's great to see that this company has bull run from its prior low back in like December 2020 when it was in like the 16 cents it bull run all the way up to two dollars and 83 cents now establishing a floor um, even though bears are involved with this company I do have high conviction knowing that true forma is being released this year and let's take a look at true forma to just share with you what this is all about so first off in the veterinarian's office you'll take a sample from like a dog or animal you'll add that to a sample cartridge. In fact, Zoomedica has already announced the pricing on its accessory product on the assess cartridge and you add the cartridge into the True Forma diagnostic product and then you receive results within 20 minutes or less on the the sample analysis. The, so that's how Zoomedica's product True Forma works at a high level and let's say if this company is able to partner up and sell products to Banfield that's huge news and Andrew Cohen does have experience scaling up companies from an operation standpoint and getting high source of procurement, getting deliveries shipped all around the world. So that's my takeaway with True Pharma and what it can do for the veterinary diagnostic arena. The fact that it only has like one main competitor, IDXX, where it does have a product similar to True Pharma, if and when True Forma is able to demonstrate a faster cycle time as well as high accuracy output, then that means this company will take market share from IDXX and it can definitely catapult up into like the three to twelve dollar share price range from my perspective, holding long term. So let's not lose sight of what True Forma can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is the top number one company in terms of share price valuation. Uh, this year and we're looking at Kirkland's okay so this is a retail chain company that's based out in Tennessee where they focus on selling home decor furnitures textiles accessories and gifts it has about 434 stores all around 37 states back in uh, June of 2020 this was hovering at one dollar and it catapulted all the way up to like thirty dollars it did take a recent downward trend however I firmly believe that this company will continue to grow possibly up into like the 50 to 70 dollar share price range it does have so a social media account right here kirkland's where it has about 1.1 million followers and as you can see it has great uh, pictures of its products that it provides and that really just caters to the consumer market in terms of design and just wanting to purchase to enhance the the quality of apparels in your house and that's why this company is doing so well when you look at it right i mean with the economy stabilizing and with great design output like this on its social media platform that just tells you that it has a solid marketing campaign and for those reasons there will be sales growth and that's why this company is the number one uh, ticker right now at least uh, in the nasdaq market 
Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you. The ticker is KIRK. It's been bull running, and I firmly believe that it will continue to bull run up. So currently priced at like 10% off from today's drop off, it definitely can make a run beyond the $30 share price. So let's not lose sight of Kirkland's, okay? Next ticker I wanted to share with you is a medical device company that is based out in Roseville, California, not too far from where I'm at. Its ticker name is INND, where they're working on a direct consumer hearing solutions model where they manufacture and develop hearing aids classified as a class two medical device by the Food and Drug Administration Health Authority. In fact, this company has a direct to consumer model. So rather than going to your doctor's office, getting a recommendation of what product that you need, it actually sells its product directly to the consumer where you can purchase your product online via Amazon or Walmart. In fact, you can go to Walmart and actually purchase this as well. And this product will show up at your door and what you can do is once that product is delivered to your door, you can download its Hear IQ app as well to program the device to your needs and start using it. And that really just cuts out the middleman having to go to the clinic's office and it's a FDA registered company and soon will be compliant via the SEC with its financial data. And the fact that we know more than 60 million people in North America and 1.2 billion people worldwide are, are suffering from hearing impairment. That just tells you that this company will advance medical unmet needs in the audiology space. And that's why I have high conviction in this company. As you can see here, it has partnerships, wholesale providing of direct to consumer market hearing aids to Walmart. It has corporate owned audiological clinics. It has a very great affordable pricing with its hearing aids when you compare it to its competitors, similar to like ears. It also has ancillary products such as hearing and tetanitis vitamins to help with uh, improving your hearing performance. It has fully automated hearing screen and hearing information kiosks that will be rolled out all around the United States. And as you can see, it's partnered up with Walmart and Amazon Prime to add value. All right, ticker name is INND. Current share price is at the borderline two cents. It was previously running up to like seven cents. I firmly believe that if held long term, this can be a one dollar share price uh, stock if you hold long and strong and remain patient because this company is beginning to accept orders right now with purchase orders on its product and that would just bring up the, the company's growth with the cash flowing in. And let's not lose sight of Interscope Hearing Technologies. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is a company that's based out in Canada where it has more than several hundred employees working at this facility. It's actually a pharmaceutical company where it manufactures uh, cannabis. Current share price is $1.12 today. It dropped off at $0.07. Cents. I was previously recommending this around the $0.40 cents, and it's great to see it bull run up close to like $3 back in the uh, week two of February however it's been pulling down here as you can see and it's undervalued and let's say if you want to take ownership in a cannabis company this is a ticker to hold on to SNDL it's not overly priced at this time and you're getting it at a much greater discount 60% off from its prior resistance high close to like two dollars and 95 cents so I feel like in the long term this company can grow and Let's not lose sight of what this company can do for you. As you can see here, it produces uh, cannabis products for adult use in Canada. It produces and distributes inhalable products such as flour, pre-rolls, and vapes. The company offers its product under Top Leaf, Sundial Cannabis, Palmetto, and Grasslands brands. And this was incorporated in 2006, headquartered in Calgary, Canada. So let's not lose sight of what this company can do for you. The fact that we know that NAFTA is now uh, gaining recognition with the uh, business uh, not having too much inertia with regulation in place, at least in Canada. We know it's legalized there for marijuana use. We know in the United States, uh, several states like California, Colorado, Seattle are beginning to open up with legal use for recreational use and medical use purpose and eventually there's just going to be a demand to have all states legalize uh, the use of marijuana as well as hearing about Mexico legalizing 
uh, marijuana. So that just tells you that there's going to be benefits for these companies, SMDL, to add value. And that's my takeaway with this company. So let's not lose sight of what this ticker can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is a company that's called uh, a Nano Dimension by the ticker NNDM. Now this is a company that's focused on advancing electronics in the space of manufacturing. It's actually disrupting and reshaping manufacturing with intelligent 3D technology models as well as providing high value uh, processes in place to break through the traditional way of manufacturing and as you can see it's empowering innovation uh, by advancing autonomous intelligent drones, cars, satellites, smartphones and in vivo medical devices as well so that just tells you that it has intellectual property in a number of different uh, sectors and with its rapid prototyping and production strategy this company can definitely innovate and provide highly efficient uh, sub-assemblies in the electronic space. Based on its share price, I mean, this ticker was previously hovering up around the high $20 share price, and it's now down to the single digits at around $9. I personally feel that if you take a hold on this company holding long term, then it can add like 200% gains in the near term, at least possibly in Q2 of 2021. This company is electrifying additive manufacturing and I firmly believe that it will scale up based on the context of where we are with autonomous automation and innovation. So let's not lose sight of what NNDM can do for you because this is one of the world's leading electronics provider from my perspective. Next ticker I wanted to pivot over to is Sorrento Therapeutics by the ticker SRNE. So this company is based out in San Diego where it's discovering, developing, and commercializing medicines for saving life. That's its mission, right? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the COVID-19 programs, even though it has products in cell therapy for cancer, immunotherapy, lymphatic delivery, and pain. But just looking at its COVID-19 program, as you can see, it has a number of products that they're working on. State-of-the-art technology that's in clinic uh, review right now prior to product approval. It has diagnostic tests for detection of the SARS-CoV-2 in nasal swab and saliva. It has a COVID sticks antigen test for detection using navel swab. It has a COVID track antibody test for detection. COVID guard neutralizing antibody STI 1499. It has the COVID AMG, COVID drops, COVID shield, COVID trap, abivertinibib, cytokine storm, salicine, COVID MSC. So as you can see, it has a number of products that it's working on. So Henry G, the CEO, is leading and inspiring a team. In fact, he did present at the Benzinga conference today, and that's only just going to increase the exposure of Sorrento Therapeutics. Currently, very undervalued at the single-digit share price range at $9, hovering at the 10 It can definitely reach up to its prior resistance in the high $20 range. If held long-term, this can be like a $30 stock from my perspective. So let's not lose sight of Sorrento Therapeutics and what it can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is a ticker that's in the OTC market, and that's called Accent Solar Technology by the ticker ASTI. What's so unique about this company, right? Well, this company was formed in 2005 where it's commercializing leading technology in the substrate monolithic aerospace environment where it's providing patented technology for the enhancement in advancing the needs in aerospace engineering. Now its vision is to deliver clean and innovative power solutions for everyone everywhere. This isn't your typical company that manufactures solar panels. This is more along the lines of uh, providing ultimate solar technology and power solutions um, all around the world, even outer space. That's why it's part of the aerospace uh, environment, right? So it's providing solar technology and power solutions for remote locations and extreme environments. So when you think about it in outer space, temperature conditions are much different than just your normal environment in the context of living on uh, just planet Earth. Now, in 2015, it received R&D award for their development of the Millpack solar blanket, right? So as you can see, it's gaining recognition. I mean, 
even Time magazines for top 50 inventions in 2011 for the development of their thin PV on plastic technology and it was recognized for developing copper, indium, gallium, selenide on a polymide substrate. So that just tells you this company has very great technology and it also has about 80 US and international issued patents in its published applications. So that just tells you that this company based out in Colorado is adding value and the fact that the CEO has experience in Singapore that just tells you that this company is highly innovative in providing solutions to this world. So let's not lose sight of what ASTI can do for you because I firmly believe if held long term this can be like a one dollar stock currently priced at three cents. That's huge gains that you can gain on. Okay. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is a biotechnology company based out in Texas. This is iBio where it's powered by fast farming technology enabling next generation uh, biologics. It's a contract manufacturer as well where it uh, provides the information from other companies and it manufactures uh, monoclonal antibodies as well as a vaccine developer. So as you can see it's focused on the swine flu uh, vaccine that's currently in clinical trials at this time. It has iBio 400 as you can see and it does have uh, different vaccines that's uh, underway at this time such as the iBio 201 subunit vaccine that's intended for COVID-19 and it leverages a uh, fast farm technology where it's derived from the SARS-CoV-2 virus spike protein fused with its patented lichen booster molecule and working with uh, Texas A&M AgriLife to manufacture plants and then using the output of the plant production to make collagens to produce its vaccine. That just tells you that this company is leveraging plants and from an operation standpoint when you have a process that involves plant production cost isn't going to kill you in terms of manufacturing operational expense so in the long-term perspective it not only can scale up into like the billions of vaccines availability but also not really tap into its cash by establishing a high cash flow burn rate and it can be well monitored so with Tom Isett, the CEO, leading and inspiring the team with his background from GE Healthcare, as well as adding directors from large scale companies, this company will grow in the long run and it can run up to its prior resistance of $7. And if held long term, this can be a $30 share price stock from my perspective, based on the context of where we are today, which is the needs of biologics. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is another biotechnology company. However, it focuses on advancing medical unmet needs in patients with glaucoma. In fact, this is an interesting company, Sky Bioscience, by the ticker SKYE, because its main focus is providing treatment of disease with significant unmet needs by developing novel cannabinoid-based therapies with strong clinical and commercial differentiation for the treatment of glaucoma and other disease states. Now, it's tapping into a world of potential, right? Now, it's, it's mainly focused on adding value to the endocannabinoid system. Not too many pharmaceutical companies focus on the endocannabinoid system by adding value with medical treatment. In fact, this company leverages cannabinoids by bioengineering that product, adding amino acids so that it can bind into your innate receptors for THC and CBD. In fact, there's data that shows that by taking cannabinoids, by having this droplet go into the eye, it can reduce significant intraocular pressure. That's a leading cause for glaucoma. And this company has potential for providing neuroprotective effects to the optic nerve. And that's what glaucoma patients really need to prevent the severity increase in becoming blind. So this is definitely a leading pioneer company that's biochemically engineering a cannabinoid derived molecule with support from University of Mississippi with patented technology and with its scientific uh, board committee. It's definitely adding value, advancing medical unmet needs using the right approach by synthesizing a safe and effective product 
And this company will be positioning to get into phase one clinical trials executing in uh, Q3 of this year. And we shall hear data coming out in Q2 on its two clinical trials data to further validate the reduction in intraocular pressure when looking at how it does compare to Pfizer's traditional drug product, as well as a separate study to demonstrate neuroprotective effects to the optic nerve. So that's just going to be a billion dollar market that this company will open up to. And that's why Sky Bioscience is a leading pioneer. Uh, when you look at like Jazz Pharmaceuticals acquiring GW Pharmaceuticals, a company based out in Europe, that just further validates the advancement of using cannabis in the realm of pharmaceutical science so let's not lose sight of what sky bioscience can do for you because it can definitely add value and as you can see here it has its thc vhs program intended for glaucoma it's going to be entering phase one clinical trials very soon it also has a cbd vhs possibly for multiple indications of use for various disease states so that's being uh, evaluated at this time. And so it's looking very exciting for this company. And with the CEO, Puneet Dilling, uh, leading the team at Sky Bioscience with experience from Oncosec, a cancer-based company, as well as working at Innovio Pharmaceuticals back in 2010 as the VP of Operations and Finance. He has so much experience to build on the development and scaling up this company. I mean, in fact, when he was at Oncosec, he was able to uplist the company from OTC and NASDAQ. So I have high conviction that Sky Bioscience will become an, a NASDAQ company in the long term. And once it's able to demonstrate safety in phase one clinical trials, then that just tells you that this company will be positioned for more institution buy-in. So let's not lose sight of Sky Bioscience and what it can do for your investment because where it's at right now at like 12 cents, it can definitely bull run up to the uh, $2, $3 share price. Can you imagine how much positive proceeds you'll be gaining at that point? So that's one hot uh, ticker I wanted to share with you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is single point by the ticker SING. This is a company that's focused on providing renewable energy solutions to consumers and small commercial uh, systems. Now, Single Point did acquire Direct Solar America to provide the most cost-effective solar power systems for any needs. I mean, this company is working with like one of the high-end real estate partnerships out there. And from a share price standpoint, where it's at right now, uh, at two cents, I definitely feel that it can run all the way up to like 10 cents, at least in the near term by Q2 of this year. And when you look at its sales growth, it's been increasing in its revenue. Its install base has been increasing. It's working in like 38 states in the United States with the goal of saturating all 50 states. And it's also partnering up with an air purification company where it's going to be part of the whole COVID-19 solution to get you know students back into schools. So that just tells you that single point is adding value. And the fact that solar energy is the name of the game at this time it can definitely add value, okay? So just uh, wanted to share this ticker with you, and that's S-I-N-G. And just looking at its financial numbers, install base is growing, sales is growing, but the share price is not reflective to a uh, single point. But I firmly believe if you were to purchase now, you can definitely gain on significant positive proceeds, and it will reach its prior resistance um, in the few weeks in the past. It was like at around seven cents, back at two cents so this is definitely undervalued at this time so the last ticker i wanted to share with you we all know about this amazing company and that's tesla right with its product innovation with its competitive advantage i mean now it's all about touchless delivery with ordering the e-commerce on a durable item whether if you want to buy a model s a model y a model three Model X, if you want to get solar panels, uh, Solar City was the company that Tesla acquired recently. And there's also solar for new roofs as well, as well as having accessories for like charging your cars. But from a share price standpoint, where it is right now at like the mid 650 share price, I firmly believe in Q2 we can ramp up to like $1,000 in share price. And if you hold this long term, like by 2023, 2025, the share price can be around the 2000 to 3000 share price stock. So 
let's not lose sight of what Tesla can do for you. And I have high conviction of investing in companies that are high quality. And the fact that Elon Musk owns like a third of all satellites and he also owns uh, SpaceX, that just tells you that this company will continue to grow and establish itself as one of the leading electric vehicle companies where it focuses on automation, artificial intelligence, and enabling the world to uh, live without impacting the environment so overall i hope that these tickers added value in a sense that i just wanted to give you tickers that are significantly undervalued at this time and it can add value to your investment portfolio if you're considering holding long term so thanks again for watching this video i hope that it was comprehensive and if you have any comments or questions please make sure to leave it down below and i appreciate your time and thank you for watching another episode at all i see is w thank you have a great day